Hey guys, so today I'm doing something I haven't done before. I'm sitting on my bed talking to you about TV in my pajamas. Wait, I do that all the time. Seriously guys though, we're doing something different. Well, I'm doing something different, you're just watching something different. We are doing my top 10 TV couples. My top 10 TV couples. Now, as you know, I, lo I watch way too much TV. So I have more than 10 that I love. So before I start, I'm going to give some honourable mentions that they deserved. Just so you know, a lot of these happened before ship names were a real thing. So they're not really full on ship names. So I got on my little piece of paper with them written down. So you can see it through. Just so I remember where I am. Okay. Honourable mentions, guys. Lenny. You don't know who Lenny is because it's not a proper ship name. But it's Leonard and Penny from the Big Bang Theory. They're so adorable. They're so adorable. Then you got... <laughs> this one's funny. Banoos. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Bones and Booth from Bones. I mean, I could call, do a Brennan and Booth, which is Brennus or something like that. But I thought Banoos was better. Okay, uh, Rani, Robin and Barney from How Met Your Mother. Even though they didn't really end up together. That's who will always be the ship. Other than other people in that show that I love. Because Robin and Ted, in my mind, they did not get together in the end. In my mind, they didn't. Hacky, Hyde and Jackie from That 70s Show. Um, now this one's got like two names. So if you want to call them Leighton or Pucas, you can. Because it's Lucas and Peyton from One Tree Hill. Both are terrible ship names. Because one's a real name and one makes you sound like you're going to vomit. Lipa, Leo and Piper from Charmed. Um, yeah, kind of bad ship name. Uh, Larshall, another bad ship name because it's Lily and Marshall from How Me Mother. And then the last honourable men mention on my list is Derrideth. Derek and Meredith from Grey's Anatomy. Now, to the official top 10. Yeah, I'm doing this with my hands. Yeah. Now, just so you know, none of these are in particular order. I don't really have a favourite one because it was hard enough to get down to 10. So these are strictly just the order I thought of them, not my favourite official order. Anyway, let's start with Spuffy. Spike and Buffy from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I know it's like a lot of people are like, oh Buffy's meant to be with Angel even though Angel has his own TV show. <laughs> Shut up. Bad. No, in my mind, Spike and Buffy will always be adorable together because not only is it forbidden, it's forbidden because he's an actual bad vampire where Angel was just a, ooh, I'm Angel, I have a soul, love me, type vampire. Which, in my mind, that's okay, vampire with a soul, that's fine. But the thing about Spike and Buffy, they got together when he was only pretty much neutered with the chip in his brain. And then he sacrificed himself. And then she said he loved him. She loved him. And then he said, no, you don't. But thanks for saying it. Even though we all know she did. But anyway, moving on. We got Naley. We got Nathan and Haley from One Tree Hill. Now, <laughs> this relationship has survived way too much. Like, you seriously think after the third or fourth thing? Give it a rest because it's obviously not good luck. They have survived. And I'm going to list it off. Parents not supportive of their marriage, uh, Chris Keller, uh, Haley running away on tour, them breaking up, um, uh, uh, car crash, uh, Haley getting pregnant, Haley almost losing the baby, uh, Nathan being almost paralyzed and losing his dream, uh, crazy nannies who like to seduce husbands, um, Jamie falling in the pool and almost dying. I hate how they always call him Jamie. His name is James Lucas Scott. Don't call him Jamie. If you want to call him Jamie, name him Jamie. Stupid writers. And then you got crazy nannies who steal their kid. And then you got, oh, I forgot to mention uh, dads that kill their uncle. That's a, That was a thing. But their best friend and their sister almost getting killed. And um, uh, Haley's mum dying. And then Nathan being kidnapped, and Dan dying, and all this shit. It's a little bit too much for one person to handle. 
Next is Delena. You all know who Delena are is. Is it who they are or who they who Delena is or who Delena are? I don't know, but it's Damon and Elena from the Vampire Diaries. Now I can't wait for the season premiere in just over a week. No, just over just under two weeks. Because I need to know what the frick is happening. Cause yeah, I need to know what the frick is happening. Then you have Monandla. You don't know who it is, do you? Well, it's Monica and Chandler from Friends. I'm sure you know them now. Um, they're just so cute together because they're like... They're just so cute. And I like how they they didn't have too much drama. It was sort of just easy. Uh, next is Jory, which is um, uh, Jess and Rory from Gilmore Girls. Even though they didn't end up together, the possibility that they will is still real because at the end of the show... Uh, she, Rory wasn't with anyone, so you sort of think, oh, okay, maybe in five years they'll get together. You don't know. Next is Chair, Chuck and Blair from Gossip Girl. These bitches had a whole lot of crazy shit going on. And it's just, it's just, I'm, I'm very impressed that they stayed together and, well, they got together by the end of it. Next is Skate, Sawyer and Kate from Lost. I know they didn't end up together, but technically everyone was dead anyway, so why does it matter who they ended up with? Because they're all dead, and that is the stupidest ending I can think of. Why didn't you just make it, um, the people that were on the plane, they fly away and they're all okay, and that's what happened. Stupid lost writers, I hate you. Uh, next is Claroline, which is Klaus and Caroline from The Vampire Diaries, and the originals if you count that. In my heart, they will always be together, even if they don't end up together. It's kind of hard now that they're on separate shows. And Steriline is not a thing. It's not a thing to me. Stefan should be alone for all time. He shouldn't know happiness. As you can tell, I do not like Stefan. Then you have uh, Setha, which is Seth and Summer from the OC. Dude, you're so cute. Oh, it's just so nice. I don't really have more to say about them. They're just nice. And last but not least is the best ship name of all time. Love. Because it's Logan and Veronica from Veronica Mars. It's L-O-V-E. Lo the like Logan Veronica. It's just they're just so cute. And then they didn't end up together in the show, but in the movie, spoiler alert, they ended up together. Yeah, see? Things can happen even if they don't happen in the show. They can still happen. Okay, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my first top insert number here uh, video. I plan to do more, such as favourite movies, favourite TV shows, favourite places I've travelled, etc. Um, and like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Ask me questions on Twitter with using the hashtag AskTKNow if you have any questions for me. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.